Wifey here. As always, these videos are for educational purposes and just a little fun. Please like, subscribe, and join our wonderful community. Today, Ashley finds herself in trouble. She has been dishonest and broken the rules about having items in her room that she is not allowed to have. This cannot stand. Oh, Ashley. Oh, dear sweet Ashley. What am I going to do with you? I thought hubby was just snooping and trying to get you in trouble by going through your private drawers. I thought he was just looking for ways to get you into trouble. I even sent him to boarding school to learn his new place in this house. I want to make you into the strong, beautiful person I know you can be. However, you clearly are not being honest with me, and I despise dishonesty. So, you are going to tell me exactly what you are hiding, or I will strip you of every item you own and leave you to sleep in a barren room on a piece of cardboard. I will turn off all of the hot water in this house and remove all of the doors. You will answer me, and you will answer me truthfully, or I shall thrash you until you do. I do not make idle taunts. I would tell you to ask hubby, but I have already sent him off for special training. Just imagine what I will subject you to if you choose a path of dishonesty with me. You have no choice. You signed the contract when you entered this house. You were to shun pleasures of the flesh until you have been properly trained to command your own partner to please you. Until then, that desire must grow and feed your commitment. You must focus on the tasks at hand. If you were to spend your time playing around and partaking in such activities, you would just be taking up my space and wasting my time. So answer me truthfully. What are you hiding? Wifey, I confess, I'm so sorry. I made a terrible mistake. Hubby was right to search my drawers. He did not, however, search under my bed, in my closet, under the blankets, or even in my cabinet. I have a problem. You see, I am a young lady, and I have needs. Needs that must be fulfilled. With no one around, I am left to my own devices. I thought I would be fine signing the contract. But after two weeks of holding out, I was raging inside. The floodgates had to be opened. I was able to sneak my things in while you were working. And while hubby was tending to his duties, I am so sorry. I do not know how I can fix this problem, but my needs just overwhelm me. It is a constant drive, even now. If you were not here, I would be engaged in all sorts of sundry activities, but alas, I cannot. I want to follow your rules, really. Please help me. I'm so sorry for being dishonest with you. That will never happen again. I will accept whatever I must to make this right. Please, just help me. Well, that was surprising. I half expected you to deny what I already knew. I almost looked forward to dragging the truth from you, but you just owned up to your mistake. You show promise. If you think your confession will make me any more lenient with you, then you are sadly mistaken. I see we have several issues to address here. First, we need to deal with your dishonesty. We will need to clean the filth from your mouth and ensure you will think twice about lying to me again. I will make certain that every nook and cranny is cleansed of your dishonesty. After you have had time to process your cleansing, we will proceed with your penance. Your deception sent hubby to St. Agnes for training, and the consequences will be severe. Let's just say you will not be sitting comfortably or wearing a bikini for a while after I am done with you. Afterward, we will fit you with a device to protect you from yourself. Yes, you know what device I mean. And finally, you will perform hubby's chores and duties while he is gone. I take my coffee black, and I prefer firm foot rubs after work. The house will be kept spotless, you will mind your manners, and I will be inspecting thoroughly. Don't look so concerned. Learning to live with these restrictions and chores will only reinforce your ability to train your own hubby. Now, please go stand in front of the sink. Yes, right there. I already had the soap and the warm water, just ready for you. Of course, I knew what you were up to. Do you really think you were able to slip anything by me? I must confess I hate this correction most. I know it burns and leaves a nasty taste for far longer than necessary, which is why I only use it on the worst offenses. Believe me, dishonesty is the worst offense to me. I have to be able to trust you, do I not? Open wide. 
Keep your mouth open and stick out your tongue. Let me get in there. I know, I know, it tastes awful. This will probably be the worst part of your day. I'm only sorry you were dishonest with me and forced me to do this to you. You do look kind of silly with suds all over your teeth and gums. Lift your tongue, please, and let me get under there. Good job. We are halfway done. Close your mouth and let me get the gums and teeth. I know, it is very unpleasant, isn't it? So is listening to your lies, so please don't do it again. Pucker up your lips. Let me get those, too. Good job, Ashley. Now open wide and bite down. I don't have to tell you not to swallow anything. Just let it drip down. I do not want you getting an upset stomach. Now before we leave here, look at yourself in the mirror. Your makeup is running, and that soap has to feel terrible. I want you to look straight ahead and do not move. I hate to do this, but you've left me no choice. I said don't move. I'm just going to lift this out of the way and... Yes, there it is. Such a peach on a lady like yourself. We're going to have to turn that peach bright red. Just look forward and do not move. You're lucky. I'm just going to use my hand. Please lean over. Just keep looking at yourself in the mirror. Here you are, getting your bottom blistered, wasting my time and yours, all because you cannot control your impulses. This will not do. You knew when you came into this house that those things were forbidden, yet you actually hid them from me. What's worse, you got hubby into trouble since he knew you were hiding things. I'm not excusing his behavior, I'm simply addressing yours. This peach is looking more like a tomato now. You know what? Stay here and stop sniveling. You know you deserve this. I'm gonna fetch my brush. Do not take your eyes off that mirror. Here we are, one hairbrush ready to deliver. I'm only doing this because of your actions. I do not enjoy turning your backside bright red, but I have to, you need to learn. Stay still, stop squirming. Yes, it's supposed to hurt. There, nice and toasty. You did not take that particularly well, but I don't think we'll need to repeat it. Do we? No, I didn't think so. Now, stand there while I get the device. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror. What a mess. Your makeup is everywhere, suds are running into the sink, and you just can't seem to stop sniveling. You're supposed to be a strong lady in this household. You need to act like it. That doesn't mean doing push-ups. It means building your will to overcome any obstacles. That's it. Stand there. Don't move. Here we are. One device ready to keep a young lady from doing who knows what with herself. Go ahead and clean yourself off, rinse thoroughly, and join me in the study. Just this once, I'll allow you more than two sips of water to rinse. Get as much out as you can. I know that was more severe than last time. It was supposed to be. I absolutely cannot have you repeating your dishonest behavior again. Go ahead. Rinse again. Clean your face. Dry your eyes. It's okay. Now, follow me into the study. Step through here. Now the other leg. Good job. Let me pull this up tight. Now, that's a proper lady. I'm going to lock it, and you will be protected from your own worst enemy. How will I use the restroom? That's simple. You will have to ask for permission. I will unlock it and assist, but at least for the next several days, you will have absolutely no unsupervised time with the device unlocked. I hate to do this, but you have shown that you cannot be trusted with yourself. I know it's embarrassing, but it's nothing I've never seen before. You'll just have to ask nicely for permission when you need to use the facilities. There will be two cleanings per day and periodic inspections, so you won't have to worry about irritation or other issues. How long am I to stay like this? You will stay supervised for one week, and then I will allow you unsupervised time for three more weeks. If, by then, you have proven trustworthy, you will be allowed to take it off and return to a normal routine. Of course, we will be inspecting your room and removing any contraband you've managed to sneak in. I'm sorry to have to do this, but again, this is all due to your actions. You could have avoided all of this if you had just adhered to your agreement. We'll be drawing up another agreement soon that will lay out your conditions. Don't worry. This hasn't impeded your training in any way. If anything, you're seeing firsthand how to deal with dishonesty and with someone who can't be trusted to keep their hands to themselves. When you have your own relationship, you will find these techniques very useful. 
Men are far worse at trying to circumvent the rules when it comes to unpermitted enjoyment. There are a few extra things you can do with men, but suffice it to say, if you follow these steps, most men won't dare step out of line again. Just wait until you're weeks into this denial period. For a man, the first few days are the worst. He'll feel so pent up and excitable that any brush across the skin will send his mind racing. After a few days, though, he'll calm down and become a complete kitten, ready to bend to your will. After long enough, a man will almost crave being locked away without any sensation. He will long to do nothing more than serve you. For you, however, the first few days will be tolerable. Only after several days will your desire start to grow until you feel yourself clawing your way out from the inside. If you thought you had needs before, just wait until you're halfway through your restriction. But be warned, if I catch you even attempting to circumvent this device, I will restart the restriction from the beginning. You will also undergo another correction that will make today look like a cakewalk. I suggest you serve your time and learn from the experience. Do you have any questions? No, Mom. I am so sorry. Wonderful. Now you must serve your 30 minutes in the Reflection Corner. As always, if you enjoy our stories, please like and subscribe to join our wonderful and growing community. We've just crossed 2,000 members, and we couldn't be more pleased. If you have listened this far, please comment with a confession of your guilt. I will decide if it is worthy of my time to address. Do not be explicit in your language. Remember, we are a U2 